more basic, but this one's perfectly ripe. Can't wait to eat it soon. And then some oatly. Okay, some stuff is basic, but just wait. There's more. There's more. Okay, truffle chips. Yum. Y'all follow me here and on Instagram and on YouTube also at Lily with Luggage. Follow me everywhere. Thank you. Hi. Okay, next up, we've got what? Oh, these look so good. Wait. Just wait. Emily, hi. Because you know I'm not going to buy the raw chicken and cook the raw chicken, at least not yet. Um, then I also decided to brave it and get their duck pate. I, I love duck pate. I kind of, it grew on me and while I was living in France. Um, and sometimes I miss it and I'm just like craving it. So I did pick some up for like charcuterie boards and just for me to snack on. This seems like a lot, but hopefully it will last me a while. And then what else? Hi, John. And then we've got a couple of different um, salamis. I think this might be it. This is the end of my tour of my haul. But I also got um, a couple different fresh salamis. I don't know the names of them. I think this might be carpaccio, but I'm not sure. And then this is just like a more traditional salami. Yeah, great in a sandwich. All will be great in sandwiches or with just a regular charcuterie board, like kind of on its own with, um, you know, I have pickles and all kinds of yummy stuff. Oh, let me show you the cheese also that I got. Luckily it's still good cause cheese lasts a minute, but um, I got it from their store as well, the same store. And if you ever visit Amsterdam, this is like the place to go to get cheese because they have other like more touristy places to get cheese, but I think their prices are especially reasonable. This was eight euros, which maybe seems like a lot, but this is like a huge hunk of goat cheese and they wrap it in this sealed bag. And you can actually take these on the plane with you. If the cheese is not wrapped like this, you cannot take it with you on a flight. So I've been told. Um, yeah, I better eat it before the minute is up, exactly, before it starts growing mold. Um, but this is delicious cheese and you can really put it on anything. It's like pasta, sandwiches, whatever. So yeah, here's my little spread. Oh, and then of course you can't go wrong with the San Pellegrino. <laughs> I had to splurge with that. So here's my little spread, my little haul. Let me show you. Got oat milk and San Pellegrino and duck pate and goat cheese and salami and chicken and more goat cheese and yummy fresh vegetables and yummy fresh hummus. Where do I put these? Put these in front. And ooh, the most fresh, delicious strawberries you've ever seen. Bradley, hi. Um, Italian crackers chips. I mean, come on, y'all. I'm not trying to brag, genuinely. This is not a, this isn't a brag. It's just a great a gratitude for all of this delicious yumminess. I ate a strawberry already, but I'll finish, I'll keep going. I already took a bite. <laughs> mm. So good. They're not like, they're so sweet, not too sweet, but like just perfect. There's no, you know how sometimes when you bite into a strawberry, there's a little bit of like a bitterness, like tiny, tiny bit. There's none of that, it's perfect. Nice haul, thank you. They are amazing, like freshest strawberries in the world. Okay, maybe not in the world, but they taste pretty fresh. Mm. Okay, that's it. Bye. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> olives. I know. Okay, they did have olives. I thought about getting them. I'm a little like I struggle with eating olives. It's it's not. They're not my favorite. I the taste is a little. It's an acquired taste. I do love things olive flavor. Like I love olive oil. 
I just, eating them with like fresh in a charcuterie is a little struggle for me. Um, but, oh, with the baguette, they were out of bread today. I was bummed. They, I, somebody else beat me to it. So I'll have to get, um, get some bread somewhere else, but that's okay. I can manage with the crackers for now. Thank you, J-Star. Also, y'all go check out my content. I just posted um, a travel video traveling to my 27th country. I just got back from Norway and I've posted my, um, my travel getting there because I did a house sit and I took care of a cat and I got to stay in Norway for free. So y'all go check out that video. Let me know if you have any questions. If you could like, share, comment, save, all of the above, I would really appreciate it. If you would go maybe check out some of my old content, maybe go visit my Instagram and my YouTube, give it a little love, I would really appreciate it. Make my own baguette with, in what world? <laughs> yeah, I don't even have any flour. I would have to really dive into to baking to be able to make my own bread. <laughs> Thank you, J-Star. Thank you for going to check out my content. Emily, thank you so much for sharing and liking the live. John, same. Thank you for liking the live. <laughs> In what world? <laughs> my cooking show. Okay. Yeah, if y'all pay me, I'll learn. <laughs> kidding. JK, not JK. Kidding, not kidding. Hi, Mark. Hi, friends. I'm so happy about all my stuff. I don't want to... I feel like I'm... <laughs> I'm covered by um, groceries. Thank you all so much for sharing the live. It does give, ooh, that truffle smell is so strong. It's so good though, the chips are so good. Mmm, unbeatable. Mmm, there, there are these really good chips that I like. Like the salt and vinegar, you kind of can't go wrong with that either. I can't remember what the brand is, but they, there's a certain type here that I really like. Like a brand here that I like of the salt and vinegar. But the truffle, truffle chips are bomb. Hi, Grady. Hi, Robert. Hi, Randy. Should I just chug this solo San Pellegrino <laughs> because I'm so thirsty and I love, love, love sparkling water. And I got addicted to it again when I went to sit in Norway um I've been there for the last few days and the couple there they had like endless amount of sparkling water and different flavors they had like mango strawberry raspberry citrus lemon just galore endless sparkling water and I took full advantage I had multiple bottles and cans of sparkling water a day and now I'm addicted again and I'm gonna have to wean myself off hydration check literally and i need to be high stay hydrated because of the I've, i'm probably dehydrated from the flight right from yesterday this is my justification should i just chug it straight from the bottle get all my backwash in there whatever nobody else is drinking this cheers oh my god that's good <laughs> they really know how to do it The sparkling water here is good too. They have a brand called Spa and they make great water also. The music is wild. Okay, so should we do a little charcuterie? I think, why not, right? I'm hungry, you're hungry. We have all this delicious food here, might as well. This, I wasn't going to make this a food live. I was just going to do like a little quick little grocery haul, but now I just want to eat. So let's do it. Let's do it. I'm so excited. <laughs> okay. Let's prep. Charcoots for the win, says Bobby. I love that term. I think I might save this for later and do some of this really tasty goat cheese that's in like this little boat. And I'll save this for sandwiches and pasta. So good though. Yeah. 
else? Oh yeah, we're gonna need pickles, which I'm out of the small ones. I need to get, so now I have to cut up these big ones, but I need some like more, what are they called? Like the tiny little pickles, the gherkins. I need some gherkins. Goat cheese with honey is my favorite too. Bobby, pasta does sound good. Ah, damn, pasta does sound good, John. Now I'm like, should I make pasta? No. Let's do. The, let's go through with this. I feel like I'm I'm vibing with all because we have all the salami. I need to eat the salami. Okay, so we're gonna do a little of both of these. A little bit of this. A little bit of that. And then maybe the duck too. Oh my goodness, I have so much meat. <laughs> which I don't really like, but oh well, let me wash my hands. I couldn't help myself. They have such fresh food there. It was so appetizing. And I was hungry when I went in and I remember like telling the guy, I was like, I should not come in here when I'm this hungry. Cause I feel like I'm just setting myself up. He said, it's a dangerous game. And I said, seriously, I said, for my credit card, it is. It is a dangerous game. Their prices are bad. <laughs> They're not good. They've been, yeah, I've seen better. Um, but I mean, you know, I will argue you get what you pay for, but this is all fresh, you know. They make all this stuff daily, like the hummus and the, the veggies and stuff, the chicken, like, and I'm telling you, those strawberries are just so good. I don't mind paying extra for fresh. You loved the new content, liked, commented, and shared. Felt like it was, felt like you were on the trip with me. Oh, yay. Thank you, J-Star. That means the world, seriously. I'm so grateful, thank you. Dave, hi, what's up, buddy? How you doing? I'm just prepping a little lunch, or I keep saying, I said lunch because John said lunch earlier. Prepping dinner, a little bit of dinner. I might have more, like something else later. So I'm not gonna go crazy with like making this a huge thing, but I kind of just, I can't help it. I want to try everything. And this, I will say this avocado is ripe. So we might as well get into it. Oh, it's lunchtime for you. That makes sense. No judgment. I just am latching onto that for some reason because you said it. I think because you said it. Do I have a clean knife? Yes, thankfully. Okay. Don't watch. What am I eating? Um, I just went to the grocery store and I picked up some salami and um, I'm now slicing up an avocado that is perfectly ripe and looks delicious. So I'm gonna cut up an avocado. I'm gonna cut up some fresh strawberries. I'm gonna cut up some goat cheese and maybe some of the pate with some crackers. And we're just gonna have like a little spread, just a little spread of different meats and cheeses and veggies. And I'm just gonna eat it on crackers because they were out of bread. I'm gonna stack, I might actually cut some of this up and put them all in these little individual pots. Oh gosh, she probably shouldn't be showing that. Um, I like doing that sometimes so that I can easily dip, dip into it, take what I want. Second lunch, <laughs> exactly, exactly. Also, I am a little under the weather. If you didn't notice, I got a little sick on my trip. So if I sound kind of icky or if I cough, which I might have to in a second, or sneeze, that's why. So for charcuterie, I like to slice the avocado into these tiny little squares. So I feel like it's easier to get on the cracker that way. So I kind of just dice it like in the, while it's already still sitting there. And then I just kind of dump it out. <laughs> oh my gosh, that looks so good. It's amazing how you can just like for, I feel like all this is just kind of easy to, easy to prep, you know, cause it's just vegetables, <laughs> it's just already, nature is so 
so perfect. Why change anything? <laughs> why, why bother cooking? Just kidding. You feel me though? <laughs> you did not get on a four wheeler yesterday, Dave. That's amazing. Four wheelers are so fun. Did you get to like, you got to drive it all by yourself? That's so exciting. Or did you have somebody helping you? You got to ride or drive? Either way, that sounds so fun. I'm gonna actually, yeah, I'm gonna put this, bring this over and cut this up and put it in this little tin. I like to have ones that are easy to, easy for me to put on a cracker. I think this pastrami, I think this is pastrami and it's way better for sandwiches. So I think I'm gonna save that in the future and just use the salami for charcuterie moving forward. But I'm still excited to try it. How is everybody? How's Emily? Emily, how are you? John, how are you? How have you been? I feel like it's been forever. Ray, how have you been? How was your Easter? How was everybody's Easter? Dave, I'm so glad to hear your Easter was good. Somebody drove you. Okay, nice. You did and you have a video of it? Send it to me. You feel like we're going back out? Probably because I have my jacket on. Oh my gosh, I just realized. It's cold in here. All right, let me take my jacket off. Good idea. Jacket off. Yeah, and then this, the song too, the song choice is good. <laughs> the song choice is also getting me. Okay, and now I'm slicing up the pickle. I love pickles. I'll be back in just a second. <laughs> Gotta keep slicing here. Almost done. Okay. So you did a little beach trip yesterday. Where'd you go to the beach? That sounds nice. Did you go to the beach in Florida? Or somewhere else? Okay. We're really making progress. There's a lot of these. Oh, I want hummus too. Okay, so maybe I'm gonna dump this into this because this is just too many, <laughs> too many little thingies. Hummus, fresh hummus, yum. cheese obviously oh yeah and then yeah cheese do I want to do the duck maybe I'll save the duck We're saving the duck maybe reconsidering thinking of sparing it and I don't know what to do with the cheese I might just throw it in another tub you're okay slept in for Easter looking for a remote job I love it Save the pate, says John. Okay, I will. I'm just gonna cut a piece of this off, I think, and just put it on the plate. Oh man, that looks so good. Look at the cheese. Does that not look so delicious? It's like sinfully good. With the fresh chives on top, y'all, or whatever this is, a little sprig. So good. I feel like I saw something. Oh, there. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Goodness. Kind of want more. 
it's so yummy. It's so fresh. Okay. Um, what kind of remote job are you looking for, Emily? Okay, I think we're ready. And I might finish off, I have some other chips, or not chips, but crackers that I haven't finished off yet. I also like to have nuts sometimes with it, but these are running, um, I'm running low on these and they're probably gonna go bad soon, so. I'm gonna eat these. These are also an Italian, I think, brand. Gran Pavese, classic. I don't know if this is Italian actually, but we're pretending it is. Okay, so here's our crackers. And I'm gonna add a little bit of jam. This is also from the same store. I am like, I am their, I'm a, their favorite, new favorite customer because I've been buying a lot from them lately, but this is another delicious item from them. This is a fresh, um, fresh jam, preserves, I should say, fresh preserves. And this is five fruit. So I don't know all five fruits that are in it because I can't read because this, this is all in Dutch, but it's got a lot of it's got five different fruits in it that's why you need to know and it does it is absolutely delicious and i like to do a little bit of jam sometimes i know i know we already have the fresh strawberries what am i doing with the jam but you know we've got to mix it up a little bit okay don't get it twisted thank you for following, liking, tapping, sharing, subscribing. <laughs> Thank you. I also kind of want some more of these veggies before I put them away. Look at the veggies, fresh veggies. Yum. I kind of want a potato too. Mm. So good. Can't wait to dig into that more later. That'll be $30 at the cafe. <laughs> it's really true. I mean, even though this was expensive at the grocery, it's like I would rather enjoy this spread at home for at least half the price of what I would spend if I tried to order all of this at a restaurant. Like the hummus alone would be like 10 euros. The salami, you know, any sort of charcuterie that involved any type of delicious cured meat is gonna be 10 euros minimum for just a small amount. So I have fresh avocado, fresh strawberries, fresh goat cheese, all for me. And I'm so thrilled. So I like to start with a little goat cheese. And then, you know, I kind of mix it up to add on different things at different uh, different times, but a little bit of avocado, a few little slices here, and then some salami, little cuts, and then let's do slice up the strawberry. I should have sliced up the strawberry. Maybe I'll do that in a minute because it's kind of, <laughs> kind of hard to cut into it. So I'll do jam instead for now, but I need to slice up the strawberry so that I, they can sit easily on the cracker. But here's a little, that's way too much jam, but see, it's like a little sandwich on a cracker. Mm. Oh my God, too good. I do not have a bike yet. I should get one though, huh? I'm thinking about it. It's on my list of things to do. The weather's been still kind of rough. And I'm not, I'm like trying to become a European girly, but I don't know if I'm officially there yet. <laughs> anyway, this is gonna be a quick live. As you can see, 
so I had a little sub a little sub timer going so if anyone wants to subscribe in the next minute I'll stay on for an extra minute but if not I am gonna say goodbye and I'm gonna go enjoy my lunch I would love to stay and eat with y'all but alas this was I kind of had a feeling this was gonna be a quick live anyway I just wanted to say hey to y'all and make sure everybody knew how much I appreciated them and that I was back safe from my trip and all is well. And I hope everyone's doing great. And I'm really looking forward to seeing seeing y'all again soon. I may go live again tomorrow, maybe not. I don't know. I need to get a schedule going for the week, I think, but for sure, I will be live again on Sunday for my loves, only for my loves, um, at, what is it, Set, wait, 1.15 p.m. CST, right? Right, folks? Right, my loves? So I will see y'all then, and please do um, take a look at the Discord, keep up with the Discord. I've been posting there recently letting everybody know what I'm up to and where I'm at and when videos are posted and I've been trying to update people when I'm going live and stuff. It's a little bit, a little bit tough because I'm trying to get, you know, be more active and trying to post more daily. But, um, anyway, you got it. Well, make sure you're keeping up with the discord world traveler girly equals European girly. Okay. Yay. Hi, wait, who says a guest? Hold on, gotta scroll back up. Oh, P Patron is here, hi. It says I can invite you as a guest. Thank you. Um, I, I did love Oslo. I'm back now in Amsterdam, but Oslo was amazing. Um, well, Norway was amazing. I didn't get to spend a lot of time in Oslo, unfortunately. But from what I saw, it was beautiful, and I would love to visit again. It was beautiful and really positive experience overall. I always love, you know, getting a, a free stay and um, always appreciate, you know, people sharing their homes and their spaces with me and allowing me to take care of their pets and giving me that responsibility. It's a big responsibility. It's kind of scary sometimes, but overall very glad to have the opportunity and to have a free stay in a new country. And so now I am at 27 countries and um, in the sauna at the gym. Oh my gosh, LMAO. I can't believe that. Okay, well I'll let you go then. <laughs> yeah, people may not wanna see that. Um, hi, Lizma. Nice to meet you. How are you? Where are you coming in from? Okay, I'm going to do a little bit more goat cheese. Call me crazy. I just don't think what I have on here is going to be enough because I'm obsessed. Thank you all for liking the lives and all the bunnies. It's so cute. Okay. I think that's plenty. All right, y'all. That's a wrap for me. Look at how I want to show you how delicious it is, but it's a little bit difficult, but you get the drift. A very colorful spread we have here. And healthy, I might add. <laughs> Question mark? Is it really healthy? Okay. I'll see y'all later. I'm going to go eat now. Um, thank you to those who are still watching. I am still in Amsterdam. I don't know if I will see the eclipse on the 8th. Let's hope it reaches me wherever I am. I hope you get to see it, Jackson. Also, Jackson, are you the Jackson from, are you my Jackson? The Jackson we know and love? I thought you were a subscriber and I don't see a profile pic. Or is this a new new profile for you? Thank you, A. Oh, well, hey, welcome back, Jackson. Missed you. I've been thinking of you. Wondering where you are. And how you been? You just start another account. Uh-oh. I've actually been thinking about that and thinking I should probably start a backup account and get people to follow my backup account. Well, would you consider resubscribing from your 
from your new account? Because I know you were a subscriber before, right? You were one of my loves. And I was wondering where you've been. I'm glad that you're glad to know you're good and that it was just an account issue because I've been wondering and, you know, making, I always like think of my subscribers and think like, where, what are they up to? Are they okay? Are they safe? Are they sound? Lisma, I am from um, the US. I'm from Mississippi originally. What about you? I love, love, love that emoji, J star, the Kirby with the holding the heart. Isn't it so cute? Yes, but you hope to get other account back and had almost 2K followers. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. Well, I hope you get it back. But in the meantime, I appreciate you making another profile and I'm um, thank you for watching and joining. Come from Indonesia. Lovely. I would love to visit Indonesia. Someone tried to steal your identity. No. Oh no. Well, that's not good. I'm glad. I hopefully you're managing that. Um, that happened to me on Instagram once. I got my Instagram hacked and someone stole my image and likeness and used it for a cryptocurrency scam. So it happens to the best of us. Don't worry, Jackson. It's great to see you too. Yeah, it is a huge headache, but I hope that you get it back. Good luck. And if not, I hope to see you as one of my loves again soon. Or either way, I hope to see you as one of my loves again soon. I do hope you get it back though. And I'm gonna go enjoy my dinner, but thank you all for being here. Thanks for all the likes. Wow, 6.2 thousand likes, all the loves. Thank you for being here. And we're still in Georgia. Okay, got it. Okay. Well, thank you all for being here. Thank you for also checking out my content, both here on TikTok and like, you know, liking, tapping, commenting, sharing, saving, um, subscribing, and then also visiting my Instagram and my YouTube as well and following me there at Lily with Luggage. Okay, thank y'all. See you later. Bye, Emily. Bye, Ray. Bye, JSTAR. Can everyone, does everyone have like access to the emojis, like the love, specifically my like sub love emojis? And can everyone like, can we maybe try to, like flood the chat with a specific emoji for like when you're in a sub love and you join the chat maybe just i want to say like a wave or something just say like hi and bye like when you first arrive like say hi when you leave say bye but like use a special emoji for both but i'm not sure which one would be best for that and maybe i need to make some more but um j star do you have one in particular that we could say bye with Thank you. Okay, that's a good one. Oh, thank y'all. Thank y'all for being here. I love that one. Emily, Ray, Patron, John. Do y'all maybe want to try that one out? Sorry, John, I don't know if you're subscribed anymore, but are you still subscribed? Let me check. I'm trying to look. I hope you get 2K followers back soon, um, Jackson if you don't get your account back. Emily, perfect. Oh my gosh, I love it. Are there any others that you see, Emily, that you like that we could use? Anyway, that's perfect though. I love it. Yay. I just love to see like the special emojis from y'all. Kind of makes it more fun for me. <laughs> Hi, three spiders. Okay. All right, I'm going to eat. <laughs> Love ya. Love. Oh, yeah, I like that one, too. J-Star uses that one sometimes, and I love it. Thank you, Jackson. I will keep smiling just for you. We can change the spelling to love. Yeah, we should. We really should. Hi, Lee Like Lee. Okay, I'm leaving. <laughs> I'm finally leaving. Um, love y'all. See you in the tomorrow. <laughs> okay, bye. Thank y'all for being here. Oh, I love that. I love that. Thanks, J-Star. Thank you for, to everyone. Thank you to all my loves for being here. 
Thanks for all the Easter's Easter eggs too. I see all the bunnies and the Easter eggs in chat. It's so cute. Or like the likes, I guess, come up, pop up as bunnies and eggs. It's adorable. So happy Easter. Happy Monday. I hope everyone has a great Monday and I will see y'all later. Follow me everywhere at Lily with Luggage. Thank you. Bye. Until next time. Bye.